Good morning, everyone. My name is Dan Godek from IBC Labels. I want to take a couple minutes this morning to discuss with you the advantages that CAB can bring to your labeling needs. CAB has by far been the leader in the industry as far as innovative products uh, that can be brought to your thermal transfer printing needs on demand. As any thermal transfer label printer uh, comes standard with a four inch wide printhead, ribbons that can either be used as inwards or outwards and a maximum OD on this particular unit of five inches. We do have some additional rewinders or the labels can be fed uh, through a fan fold application. That being said, most of our customers will, with the help of their PC, can simply go and design a regular type of label. So for our quick purposes here, I'm going to design a four inch by 2.87 inch label. And it would be as simple as clicking on, adding your text, whatever the text may be, uh, barcodes, uh, anything that you, per, you may need as far as your labeling needs are. Uh, we can go further into details as far as what and how the software can operate on a later video. But just to give you a real simple concept, uh, it is pretty much a click and position uh, type of software. Very easy to manipulate. Um, this is what compares the difference between regular thermal transfer printers and the CAB line of printers. The advantage here, I'll have a, an example already designed. Here is a situation where um, we'll have somebody in the business that will be responsible for the content of the label, but on the production floor, behind the kitchen, uh, in the warehouse, we may have the operator have particular things that need to be changed in real time. So whether it be an expiry date, an order number, a packaged by, a sequence or a counter field, um, we want to be able to have a particular layout and have that standard in machine. So what we can do uh, with the aid of the CAB printers and the CAB Pro software or the S3 Lite for certain uh, applications is that we can take this entire file and actually save it to the memory of the machine. So as you can see, I have a couple of different printers available. Um, the EOS 1, 2, 5, the Mach 4, the Squix, these are all printers that have the same functionalities where we can save the file to the printer um, or to a physical card that can be inserted into the back of the machine. And we'll go over those types of options on another video as well. So long story short, this has already been done for us to save a little bit of time. Um, the nice features, uh, and as you can see, there are a multitude of different USB inputs on the unit. So what we can do is we've uploaded several different uh, labels on the machine. So there are three different ways that we can access those files. First is by using the touch display, as you can see, very intuitive. So we're going to select the storage, load the label, and we could physically choose whichever label we wanted to. Uh, the reason it's printing two is that when we uploaded the file, we chose to uh, have a quantity of two printed. That can be changed. It can be an input from the time of the print or a specific database per field uh, that will tell us how many needs to be printed. So uh, this is the spaghetti label. So what we can do as another situation is that we can generate some barcodes and with a scanner, we can physically decide which label we need to pull out. So we have programmed ahead of time. And as you can see on the uh, pages here, we have an F1 designation in the front. The F1, what we'll do, it will automatically send a command to the printer to load that following file to the printer. So as you can see, I have a standard printer in my hand and I will choose to print the rosemary. And just wanted to reassure people, there is actually no connectivity to any printer. It's not sent in Wi-Fi. It's actually all stored on the internal memory. And here's another example. Print the basil, you can print some spaghetti, and even if you have the question come to your mind, can we print nutritional facts? Absolutely. 
We saved it as an image. We can create a template, many, many different functionalities. The other way uh, that a lot of customers will uh, like to do is they will be able to change things on the fly. So we do have a second page here with a couple different options. Uh, the first one here is for a pick and choose type of application. So uh, we'll have a customer that may be picking packaging and preparing orders on demand. So they could get a production schedule, whether it be on a sheet or just a single label on a pad or of any, uh, any sort. So what they would do is they would scan. As you'd seen in the example I showed you before, the first uh, field to fill in is actually the order number. So for example, this order number is 1222, and I'm using a keyboard right now. And package by Peter. And off you go. So if we do remember, we had the package by, the order number, and a sequence of numbers that we had created in the S3 software. So you give the complete flexibility uh, to make those changes on the fly for the operator himself. Sometimes though, we want a standard menu. We want a, an application where the central office uh, will dictate to uh, facilities a particular set price or a menu. Um, menus may change because of ingredients, because of price, because of the fluctuation in market in particular types of uh, foods in particular. So what we can do is we can pre-program uh, these menu items into the unit and we take away the stress and fear for the operator. Uh, they can just prepare the food, concentrate on that high quality product that they're selling to customers and like a cash register sort of thing, can simply choose to print what they need. So this is an example uh, where we have an expiry date with a offset. So today's date is September 19th and we've just offset it in a couple days. As you can see, there is a barcode and a price. Uh, we've put a uh, logo up in the corner so that customers can see uh, that you can integrate not only text and barcodes, but also uh, some single color images as well. Here's another example. So same sort of scenario, just a different item on their particular menu. So there are two ways to do it. Like I said, either with the scanner or the operator himself can come and press F1 to the labels and they can either scroll with the menu, choose the label. So uh, there are a lot of different ways to come about uh, standardizing and automating your label printing. Take away the errors, make it easy for your operators, make your labels consistent and beautiful uh, in the matter of a click away. So that's a brief introduction on the capabilities of the standalone offered by CAB. If you have any questions or you need any further assistance on either programming or layouts or anything of the sort, we do offer that service. So once again, Dan Godike from IBC Labels. Really appreciate the time you took to look at this video. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 514-381-2949. Thanks. Have a great day.